All right, God bless you. The year is Tuesday, September 7th. And then for the second part of a remedy for depression, uh, when in 1 Kings 19 and 9, when um, Jesus, the Lord asked, Elijah, why are you here? And we need to tell God our frustration. After being restored through proper food and rest, Elijah traveled for 40 days. Then he went to a cave and spent the night. In the morning, the Lord asked him, why are you here? Elijah answered, I was always, I've always done my best to obey you, but your people have broken their solemn promise to me. They have torn down your altars and killed your prophets except me, and now they're even trying to kill me. Elijah poured out all his fear. God allowed him to let off steam. He wasn't shocked by Elijah's complaints. Sometimes it's helpful to share your feelings with a trusted friend or counselor. It's cathartic, cathartic a cleaning out, a venting of all the things that have happened, pushed down inside you that are contributing to your feeling of depression. And Elijah had plenty of stuff pushed down. Notice the emotions he experienced. He was afraid. Verse three, he felt resented Resentment and followed by low self-esteem and guilt. I've had enough. No better off than my ancestors in verse 4. He was angry because he worked hard for nothing in verse 10. He was lonely to the point of despair. Now they were even trying to kill him in verse 10. He was worried. When you combine fear, resentment, low self-esteem, guilt, anger, and loneliness, and worry uh, are combined, it can open the door to depression. So let him spill it out, he said. Elijah, what's frustrating you? What's eating you up? And Elijah poured it out. So when you're depressed, what you need to do is take it to God in prayer and seek professional help. And sometimes it's good to share these things with a friend or a counselor, someone who can help you get over some things. And so, and, this, and let me say this, it's not always your pastor, it's not always a preacher, it's not always, sometimes people need professional counselors, and I believe that. So that's our word for you today. God bless you and God keep you is our prayer.